All right, here with Ariana Hello. Evangelista. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All the way from the Philippines. Yeah. She, of course, is a pro mountain biker. And she's fresh from Japan. You were in yeah, Japan, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. For a competition? For a competition, yes. Congrats on winning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And it's, it's a pleasure to, to be with you today. And yeah. thanks for having me. Oh my gosh. I thought of asking her to take me mountain biking, but that <laughs> kind of scared me. So we're going to go road biking. Yes, I'm glad to bring my road bike, Stella, with me here in Singapore. Oh my gosh, you named your bike as yeah, well. I do, I, yes, I do. This is Poppy. Poppy, hi. <laughs> Hello, Poppy. Okay, so we're going to bring Ariana on like the scenic route. We're now at Citadines and in the Clemenceau area. Right, okay. so we're gonna hit up Oxley. A little okay. bit of a climb. Obviously, no trouble for this mountain biker. <laughs> Oxley, and then we're gonna go down through Chinatown, uh, through Kampung Baru, which is okay. a little bit windy. You see a couple of churches. And then we'll hit Keppel Road, and then we'll hit Sentosa. So, Great. give you a bit of a scenic route of Singapore. Yes. yes. And then we'll stop at Sentosa for a photo, and maybe we'll catch up there as well. Great. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, <laughs> that was a very slow start this morning. Oh my gosh, the rain! What a cute joy. Uh, there's a bicycle lane only in the Changi area, and then there's another one in Salita that's okay. new. But then, but then the drivers are like very kind. Like no. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'll take note of that. <laughs> Oh, now the weather's nice. Yeah, it's good. Finally. This is like the back of Orchard Road. Mm, okay. Orchard Road is like a popular... Shopping... Uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the main... Oh, no. <laughs> the main shopping area in Singapore. But is it like, a, like an outlet rate? No, 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 no. It's still quite expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> yeah. So, you don't do you ride a lot of road in the Philippines? I mean, because not you, really. Yeah, because well, you train mountain, right? Um, be mainly because the size of my road bike is actually big for me. It does look kind of big for yeah, you. What size is. are you riding? This is forty-seven. Ah, okay. I am a, I'm a forty-four. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. okay. So, how did you get started mountain biking? Uh, I started it started out as a hobby because my sport before. Bad Bintan, yeah, so different. But, but, but I didn't really progress. <laughs> so then you just started cycling for fun? Yeah, for fun, and then joined a local race for fun, and then I was like, oh, maybe we can like get into this sport more. Yeah, so yeah. Until now, today it's my career already. <laughs> That's so cool. Like, totally when when did you know that you wanted to make it your career? Or was it when the first sponsor came? I honestly. I only got to enjoy more until a year ago. Oh really? So what do you think made the difference that made you enjoy it more? Uh, freedom. <laughs> How come now you have more freedom? Uh, I'm trying to understand. I, it's actually a, a personal reason. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll share it with you off, off camera. camera. <laughs> Secrets, guys, that she's only going to share camera, with me. Yeah. Off camera, off camera. For me, in the Philippines, I really want the to grow, especially for more women. Yeah, it's yeah. Actually, biking is a very male sport. I mean, for us, we get to help our eyelash extension. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> wear nail polish. Yes, and yes, yes. Dirty, but be badass. At the same yes. Time. Yes. So after this light, we are out of okay. the business area, out okay. of Chinatown. When you ride, do you ride alone or? I usually ride with a buddy. His name is Clyde. Hi Clyde. Hi Clyde. <laughs> we usually just play both of us together because I can't really accommodate a lot of people. Yeah, I see. So if I have like a big group, I can't really do my training properly. What do you think it takes to be like a pro athlete? I think a lot of when I was growing up, I really, I was hoping to be a pro athlete in any sport. In any sport? <laughs> yeah, really any sport. Mm -hmm. What do you think it takes? Well, I guess something that you have to do when you're younger. Honestly, in any sport, it's really hard to stay focused, especially if you're not earning so much yeah. from... That, that's a problem with sports, right? Like, wow. there's, no there's no college degree yes, yes, for being yes, a pro yes, yes. athlete. 
it's really about consistency and trying to keep a positive mental state. But again, at the same time, it's, it became my passion, so yeah. I'm enjoying it and that I get to share this passion with some people. So I, I, I'm really lucky that I'm in this, in this path. <laughs> about like okay from pro cyclist and then you started documenting some stuff online oh yeah 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 so how did that happen was it organic as well did you plan that i had my like facebook page for a long time yeah but then again the pages that grew from the pandemic was like youtube and tiktok oh yeah it was it was really weird so I think those apps like took advantage of yeah. the pandemic. So you were you all were you always on TikTok or was it the pandemic really, that made just, you? Just the pandemic because I was like, oh, I can't be left behind. Ah, <laughs> I see. Yeah. So what 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 content do you start creating on TikTok? Oh, it's mostly humor. <laughs> humor, not but, bicycle content. It's not bicycle content, but humorous then, bicycle content. Yeah, but then again, I get to be myself. So mostly oh. on TikTok, I don't really spot but post like much sponsored content. So it's mostly me making just being funny, just being funny, or sometimes TikTok dances yep, yep, and stuff. Yep, yep. So, oh my like, gosh, you Filipinos are so good with the TikTok dancers. <laughs> Thank you. Really, like Andre King was with me, really, and he was teaching me TikTok oh, dancers. Dancer. Yeah, is that is that your favorite platform? Would you say? I guess so, <laughs> because I really get to be myself without any any much filter. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. So go follow Ariana on TikTok. Oh, thank you. Where she has uh, no filter or not much of a filter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go into Sentosa now. Sentosa? Yeah, already. It's very, very near. <laughs> Everything is very near in Singapore. <laughs> but really, I'm, I'm so amused. You're so amused, right? Yeah, because the Philippines is so big, but here it's like <laughs> a little while and we're like, okay, we're in Sentosa. Have you, is this your first time in Singapore, right? Yes, it's First time to Singapore. First time, yep. I see. The most I've been last time was just the airport for, oh, yeah. airport for uh, transit. Tran tran transit. <laughs> most people, yes. Okay, really? So it's your first time to Singapore? Uh, nice. What is it called? Is it a resort? Uh, there is a resort. There are a few resorts. It's and like a, a, uh, the name of an area? It's an island. It's, a, it's an island? It's an island. So we're crossing the bridge now because oh. it's an island on its own. Sorry, I'm such an angler. <laughs> no, no, no. In my like I call myself Manol. Manol. Ignorant. That's so funny. <laughs> now we're heading into Sentosa Hall. Right, so let's go. This, it's a rich area. Rich area, okay. It is. So there are residences. Oh, I see yachts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> By rich area. Bougie. Bougie, very bougie. bougie. <laughs> but the area I'm thinking to is like uh, there are cafes and stuff. So even okay. if you're not bougie, you can go there. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a bougie area. Bougie. For sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't ask me to do these things. Of course, the mountain biker has no problems. I'm like stuck. We're in Sentosa! Uh, the bougie area! The bougie area! <laughs> I told Ariana, this is not, okay guys, how the average Singaporean lives. But if you're here in Singapore for the first time, it's worth having a visit. Because yeah. uh, it's very pretty and very nice. It's so funny that upon going here, like by the time that I saw the yachts, I was like, oh, okay, bougie. Yeah, at very first she was like, bougie. what is in Sentosa? Then she saw the yachts. I was, I, like, people live here, then she saw the yachts, she's like, okay, I get it. Uh, but basically, I gave you the like the quick and easy tour if you're in Singapore for the first time. Yeah. So we went through Orchard, went down River Valley, Chinatown. Yeah. You kind of can see a lot in just... Yeah, it, it's so cool because by using a bicycle, I've already like toured most of Singapore, I guess. And it's only 8km. That was only an 8km really? ride. Yeah. See you guys, bring your bike. To bring Singapore. your bike. Simple and easy. Okay, watch out for another video where Ariana will show you. Because she, of course, is a pro mountain biker. Show you how to get fit. Her road bike. Her road bike. How to get fit and ready, and how to be cyclist ready. So we're gonna go through a cyclist workout. Uh, do follow Ariana on her channel as well. Thank you. Help us to like and share. And that notification bell. Oh yes, thank you. I always forget <laughs> that. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.